right, we're going to go over our uh, kicker mechanism and the winch system that, that actuates it or makes it operate. First off, we've got our, our kicker arm here that uh, is powered by the surgical tubing, storing energy through the surgical tubing, and we, we put a bunch of strands here, um, and then they get stretched when this arm gets pulled down. And the way it's pulled down is by this, this winched drum, and as the drum rotates here, it, it winds up this ratchet strap, drawing it down. Um, that is operated by this Modulox gearbox using an Andy Mark two-speed shifter module in here that we, we took from one of those. Um, we've removed the pneumatic cylinder here and put in a spring return so it automatically returns to engagement and then um, it is released by this large lever arm since there's a significant amount of force there. Uh, this, this arm pivots here and has about a 12 inch lever arm to an inch and a half pneumatic and so when, when you've got this loaded and the, the kicker cocked back, this actuator will push this in and disengage the dog and the drum will then freewheel and, uh, and, and launch the ball. Coder here on one of the uh, stages uh, that gives us live feedback. We had an issue with the, the tension back driving the gearbox in this, this mini sim here. Um, so what we did is just real easy in a, in a Modulox gearbox, they're all hex shafts. So there's a 3 8 hex shaft on this stage. We took a 3 8 ratcheting wrench and put it, uh, put it on the shaft. There was just enough space for it and that's creating a one-way clutch basically. So as this gearbox winds up, the, uh, that ratcheting wrench that's locked against one of the cross members here only allows the, the transmission to go one direction. It has plenty of power to pull it down, but when you're just sitting there holding that amount of force, um, it's too much amperage, you know, current draw on the motor and, and, and we fried one. So that, that ratchet mechanism allows us to just release all, you know, take the power away from the motor and the winch stays there holding the, the tension in the surgical tube. There's a lot of torque being generated on our arm, so we're actually having to reinforce it. We're using the modular uh, SIM motor blocks, and they can fit right in the channel. So they act as a sort of doubler or tripler plate around there, hopefully distributing the load all the way back up to the, the strong section a little bit better. But as it was twisting, we actually were beginning to see a little bit of flare out. So we want to try to, to stop that before it really gets bad, and uh, it's, hopefully this works. That was the score. Yeah.